What's going on, everybody? Canuck here. Welcome to another episode, I've lost count, of Complete Course Construction. Um, and again, we're starting off with another apology, which I seem to do with all these. And again, it's for the same reason. I'm just not putting these out enough. I appreciate your patience, you guys asking patiently on you on YouTube comments, on Twitter, on my streams. When's the next video? When's the next video? When's the next video? Here's the next video. Um, I kind of got to be in the right mi mind frame to do it. And lately, I just been busy with other projects, been taking a little bit of a break from course design after the big thieves landing thing. Um, but tonight the mood struck and we're ready to jump back in. Uh, so we we're nearing the end. We've got like four holes left. Well, five holes left. That's I don't that much monstrosity is getting deleted, but we'll get back to that in a ways away knowing the speed of this uh, <laughs> knowing the speed of this youtube recording we'll be back to that in a year <laughs> i'll try to make it quicker than that i promise anyway uh today's plan we are working on the 15th hole which is going to be a nice par five we had some issues with shade uh a lot of shadow and there is just going to be a lot of shadow on this hole. There's not really we're going to try to maybe cut the tr sniff the tree line as much as we can to try to get as, as bright as we possibly can. But uh, this hole is just going to be a little bit on the uh, the darker side, but that's OK. I see a beautiful green site here. I'm a sucker for, you know, the jutted out edge cliff. So I think we're going to take advantage of that. And, um, you know, as we're building these, we're going to have other questions like what do we do with this vast openness um i mean that's kind of the big question right now we'll have to tackle because that's gonna be a prominent thing to look at here at the back of 15 but we'll see what happens anyway guys let's get going if you do like these videos and you haven't already really would appreciate it if you sub subscribe to the channel like the video that all helps me out. I am closing in on 10,000 YouTube subscribers, and uh, I hope I get it pretty soon. But uh, thank you. Big, big, big thank you to you guys. So let's get started. Enough of me blabbering on. Let's go. We're going to start the clock. We are at 25 hours and one minute. We'll get some music going. There we go. Oh, I must have... Uh, see my spotify there oh well all right so 14 came out quite nice we did we did that on a bit of a live course construction and then we kind of finished it off so 14 i'm, I'm quite uh digging right now but uh yeah we're gonna turn our attention to 15 and like i said i feel like we kind of have to use this little green site here it's just too perfect and we could make it a short five, and I think we could make that a fun par five. But we're going to have to back the tees up a bit. So, you know, I want to make this. I might even back the tees up here. I think you might get a bit better angle back here. 538. I want to make it a fairly tight tee shot. Oh, we do something like that there. I'm liking that. All right. Hopefully everybody is doing all right. We're into October now. <laughs> I'm doing these one a month, it seems, but we're going to try to go quicker. I feel like I just need one hole to like really spur me on and then I'll be like, all right, let's let's do this. OK, so very ooh, this this has the potential to be a stunner of a par five. Um, OK, so it's short. But we want to make this pretty narrow. I kind of want to use this bank here to not to not this whole bank, but uh, I want to make this about 34. Yeah, not a not a super not a super uh, big landing area, but I want to make it somewhat reachable or, or somewhat playable, obviously. The landing area, if you're playing the back tees with the big driver, will probably be around this area. And then that's going to set up a beautiful shot in. And we might put some bunkering here. Let's just work and finesse the land a little bit. 
and see what we can't come up with. I've, I've got a nice little idea for this hole, actually, if I can get it to turn out how I want it. This has the potential to be up there with uh, the fourth hole as one of my favorite par fives, I think, on this course. I do kind of feel in general, where are par fives? Four is a par five. Uh, what else were my par five? Six is a par five. And was that it? I think that's all. I think 15 and then 18 is going to be a par five. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my par five so far, but we only have two of them on the course. So about time we get going with a third. All right, so we're going to kind of flatten it all the way up here. Just a pretty broad flatten. And then we will widen this out a bit. No bunkers needed there to protect that green. That is just going to be the ultimate hero shot. Um, we'll have to maybe work a little bit on the cliff side. Take off the pointy bits a little bit, but not super important for today. We want to get mostly the hole down. And then we'll go from there. We might get to that point. I don't know yet. See what happens. Okay, so you see I'm kind of leaving this ridge because I want that to potentially be in play. Um, I also might use it to frame some bunkers as well. Actually, I don't even know if I need bunkers there, but the landing area is actually going to be a little bit further back. So I might actually bring it up here. I might pinch it just a bit. Maybe something like that. All right, I'll draw it out here so you guys can see. I realize I've got the vision, but maybe viewers at home might not be able to see what I'm, I'm thinking here. But you might, you might. All right, so here's the plan. Just a little nasty cliffside green. We're going to make the green kind of come in here just to let. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Fairly large green. Okay. And then as for the fairway. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Still fighting a little bit of a cough. So I think. We'll probably do something like this. I hope the music's not too loud. I'm going to turn it down a bit because I'm not sure if that's really interfering with my voice or not. Hopefully not. Otherwise, this broadcast is ruined, but I think it's quiet enough. All right, so. Fairway will kind of jut in like this. And then we'll really tighten it up along the coastline. But again, I mean, that's not really going to be drivable. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually come this way. We're going to have to create a little bit more coastline because that's getting real tight. All right, so something like this. Bunker not really needed at all. Okay, so we're going to widen that a bit there. And then we're just going to run it along the coast here. I don't really think we might put one bunker on the drive, but that's probably all I need. I, I think anything else... It's probably a bit of a force, to be quite honest. But, I mean, this has potential to be a nice little... ...dunner. Just crutch that coastline as best we can. Okay, 
you know, I, I, I sometimes I hear some designers, you know, they have a really nice feature, but they try not to just like use it all the time. And while I agree to that to some point, but if you if you take away like some absolute stunning looking and playing signature holes just to not do that and play some sort of boring inland hole or something like that. I mean, I don't think that's a great use. Hey, I got these beautiful cliffs. I'm clutching. I'm crutching these guys a ton. I have how many coastal holes? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six already. This is seven, eight. I mean, 10 of the holes are going to be coastal. The 16, 17, 18 are still not 100% sure. 16, 17, 18 are going to go there. We might reroute those for the 8,000th time, but we'll see. All right. So let's start by laying down the green. Gonna be pretty big. But that gives us some options. It gives us some options. I cannot even remember. Were we doing light rough, heavy rough? I th every episode involves me going back and trying to remember. <laughs> All right, there is light rough on this course. Okay. So, second surface, a little bit of rough. All right, so there's our green. Fairly large, like I said. Okay. I don't know if I need the fairway to jut out that much. I think I might just have it kind of come this way. So. Boom. And boom. All right, just like that. Okay, so it's going to come in this way. And then we're going to widen her up here. I guess it does really pinch there. We might have to fix that a bit. Then it comes in right here. Ah, close enough. All right. Fill the spline, smooth it out. Toggle in the rough. All right, and we have the early makings of a golf hole here. So this is really the point of concern right here. It's a bit of a forced pinch, I would say. It's not the most subtle of strategy, that's for darn sure, but... You know what? This course is not in any contests. It is not trying to win anything. I'm just trying to show you guys my 7-month, 25-hour process of how I go about building this course, so. I think people are going to enjoy this course, but I don't think it's going to be my best. But I think it's going to be pretty good. And again, we'll, we'll, we'll be making a lot of tweaks to it, too. There's a lot of fixes. I think that might be a big reason what's kind of straying me away a little bit from it is just like knowing like oh man i gotta go back and change so many things and like i don't know if you guys will find that interesting but actually you might i don't know i don't know all right let's pull these out and see what the fairway is looking like yeah i think that's pretty good i think we'll probably put a bunker right in here just to just to make things interesting. Take a look here. 
trying to get a good and right now we've got the tea boxes here but I kind of think straight on is a bit better yeah I think it is so I think we're going to raise this area up Sort of like that. Right now, the sight line off the T is terrible, so we need to work on this a bit. Got to work on that sight line. Okay. We don't want this to camber towards the water too much. I mean, this is all carry, this hole. This is just like a pure risk reward, smart play layup over here. Still a tricky little pitch, but, um, you know, pretty straightforward hole here. Okay, so let's see if I move the T kind of over here. Yeah, I, I think straight on is probably my best bet. Get rid of about 553. And now we got to move all these tees over again. Just temporary places for now. Okay. Sight line's still not there, and I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to where I want it, but. The shade is definitely playing a role here. I can only do so much to make this tee shot pop. I think once we throw in a bunker, that we'll, we'll try that. Again, the old... Check to see how Canuck made his bunkers on this course. Quick look. All right. Sorry for the camera. I, I have like a nice little filter that kind of blurs out the background. And it's been great and got a lot of good comments on it. But today it just didn't seem to want to turn on. It's very finicky. I don't know what it is, but... It said, no bueno. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's try to make this happen. I mean, one bunker, maybe. Something like this. Well, I might do two. Maybe a smaller one right up here. I mean, you put it in these and you're automatically... There's... You know, this is a three shot par five, so that helps it immensely. Now we're just gonna very gently bring up the edges. I think she's good. But otherwise, I mean, not really much needed. I mean, I could put, I don't know, something's got to go at the back here. I'm almost thinking like a hill maybe, 
like a bit of a larger hill that we could plant. Uh, this is where, again, shadows are going to be a problemo. So maybe some nice little grass planting in there, maybe. Maybe that's a little bit too high. Just a little hill there. And then, yeah, we've got the big question of what the heck is going there. But I just don't know. Throw that bunker in. I mean, I could put a string of bunkers here, but they would provide almost no strategic value. I think those would just kind of be forced in there. Um, I mean, I could put a couple bunkers here just to maybe protect the layup a bit, but again, I'm kind of thinking that could be forced too. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I think we just let the coastline do its work on this hole. I think we just kind of let the coastline do its work. We will need to work a bit on the coastline. It's, it's a bit of a mess right now. But this will be something we'll probably take on in a planting episode of some sort. Or a planting session. I don't. Yeah, I, let's let's throw in some tea boxes. Um, what am I using for tea boxes? I think I'm just kind of doing whatever, freestyling them a bit. Let's keep this one pretty. Something like this, pretty straightforward. Something like that. And then maybe a couple singles. There and there. I missed it. There it is. There she is. This is a little bit trickier to flatten. Okay. Now I actually just realized that if I want a nice sight line, I'm going to have to move it up quite a bit. Five thirty nine. So that puts the fairway a little bit more in play. So you know what? Let's pull this out. And we're just gonna add a single. Right here. That'll be my back tease. And then maybe we'll just add on to here. Ooh, that looks terrible. Oh, shoot. Let's not be lazy here. Come on. I really wanted to be lazy there, but... Okay. Um, 
Um, Throw the T's in. Hey. We gotta work on some sculpting. So yeah, this is gonna be a very short five, but I think it's a very good risk reward. I mean, if you're accurate, you get a good shot at Eagle, but if not, you're in you're in double land here, big time. Platinum a bit more. Okay. And then we got to think of how are people getting from you know, 14 to, to 15. I mean, I got so much plant meter left, so we're probably going to go nuts once we actually build out the course, and then we'll be able to add where we need to. Okay, let's just take a look. Is it up to my standard? I mean, that's a tight drive. Ooh, they don't really like that. That's great second shot in. That's narrow. So, and that that uh, that camera there is gonna anger some people. So let's make it worse. No, just kidding. It still is not going to be an easy drive. I mean, that's that's a pretty cheap pinch. I I, I don't do that, new designers. Do not try to pinch every fairway here. But we're doing this on this hole. I mean, that is making people like, eh, okay, maybe we'll lay up with a three wood, which I don't love. To make the golf let the golfer do but i can see b101 just shaking his head britishly just being like blimey what is this bloke doing that's i imagine what he's saying as well he's eating his tea and crumpets love you ben All right. I mean, there's not much to the, the bones of this hole. And so we just kind of got to think of the surroundings. It is missing something. I'm, I'm thinking like a little grove of trees right here would be kind of cool. It wouldn't it have it, no shadow issues either. Just like a little. We're already getting to the pretty stuff, but just kind of for framing here. I haven't used these very much, but. I feel like. Stick it right on the right on the coast there. I mean I did we did something pretty similar on one there, but maybe we add a couple little thinny thin pines to do this. Uh, that might look a little silly. Or maybe I just do like a little bit, a few little pines here. Uh, 
maybe. Oh, I just like the oak there. And then maybe just some ground planting. I'll just have it having that that out there is I think kind of nice. I think that's kind of nice. Now we've just got this swath of beautiful land here. It's just what do we do with it? What do we do with it? The big question. I mean, I, I've heard a lot. I've, I mean, we're thinking of maybe a little halfway house here. We could reroute again and use a little bit more of it. And I have back to back threes here. I do. Forgot I needed to do that. Otherwise, I only have three par threes on the course, which is a bit quirky. I mean, I forgot that this whole, this back nine is completely quirky, isn't it? The scorecard is weird, right? If I don't remember correctly. Yeah. Like after you hit 14, it's 5335. 35335, yeah. <laughs> Three par threes in the last uh five holes. Ah, that's okay. Something different. I mean, the easiest thing we could pro we could do is just kind of tree line the whole thing, and and this is just a big empty area. But I feel like that would be a giant waste. I still do not have ideas for this, but we'll, we'll get we'll get there. Oh, it's such a beautiful that the lighting is just perfect, but. What do I do? What goes there? Unless we chop off some more land and then we just kind of bring in, you know, maybe 16 comes up here. 17 is a little par three that plays down to the coast. You know, then I'm not crutching the coast for all of these holes. I kind of like 16 playing up the hill here. Like this, using this little ridge, putting a green right there. Oh, that's happening. That's happening. I've talked myself into it. I've talked myself into it, ladies and gentlemen. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is happening. The 11 billionth time we have rerouted these last few holes. And then I think maybe 17 is playing like a big old downhiller. You know, use that ridge and then have it out almost as a, as a tee box too. Then that can be 17. You get sweeping views as you kind of make your way down. Why didn't we think of this before? I'm not crutching the coast as much. We're going to cut off, bring in a lot of this coastline here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you feel like this is going. Have I just made a massive mistake here? Or have I made this course much, much better? Oh, I think this is miles better. I think this is miles better. My opinion, but I 
ja, ja. Ugh, those bunkers on one are so atrocious. <laughs> this D-Box is terrible. We gotta rip off a lot of stuff, I think, when we go back, but these were decisions made when I was a much younger man. <laughs> like, a much younger man. I've had a lot of experience since I started this, so... Uh, yeah. That, that's That's gotta go. Anyway, we 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 we're, we got distracted. So back to the task at hand. I mean, I think this is now even looking better. Oh yeah, beautiful. I think planting will be pretty minimal. Mostly just ground planting in here. Maybe a little grove of trees just in here. But uh, yeah, I think she's looking. Very, very good right now. Very, very good. And I think we stop her right there at 25 hours, 35 minutes. Nice little build there. I think we made some really nice progress. Uh, we'll have a couple really fun par threes to build there. And then just this par five. If, we, if, th if this isn't one of my best par fives I've ever made, I need to quit designing. Is that not a... Perfect piece of land for a closing hole. My God. It's perfect. We'll screw it up. But anyway, it's all part of the design. So yeah, next episode, we'll kind of finish 15, maybe a little bit of planting. Uh, we'll move on to 16, 17, and then a big boy 18, a little clubhouse work, and then the work really starts as we got to go back and... I mean, I have issues on most of these holes, but we'll talk about that next episode anyway. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Again, sorry for the long delay with these coming out, but uh, I'm not even going to promise you that it's going to be a little bit more regular because I don't know. I hope it is, but I don't want to I don't want to break any promises. again. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.